The West Lafayette School Board will proceed with a tax referendum to help support operating expenses. Tiffany Dismore was at tonight's meeting. Tiffany, how much money could this referendum raise for the school system? Nicole, the referendum would give the West Lafayette School District a maximum of about $3.5 million each year. The property tax rate would, could increase 43 cents per $100. That would be about $370 on a $200,000 home. West Lafayette Superintendent Rocky Killian says this referendum is the only way for the school corporation to get the revenue they need. We only have revenue from one source, and that's from the state. We can't charge tuition uh, to, uh, to our parents or to our kids. That's against the law. We can't take construction money and move it into general fund. That's against the law. Uh, we can't uh, do a variety of things because we're bound by Indiana Code. The general fund right now is solely funded by the state, and the state is driving down those revenues. John Basham owns rental property near Purdue's campus and says if the referendum passes, it will have a profound effect on his 800 Purdue students that rent from him. It's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. The timing is wrong. And how can you sit in there and, and, put, and pass a 43 cents per $100 assessed value? The homeowners aren't, aren't going to see that much of a difference. The businesses will. I pay $700,000 a year in property taxes. This is going to raise my property taxes about 200000 extra a year. Sonia Marjoram is in favor of the tax referendum. She says it's essential for the future of West Lafayette schools. Lafayette schools have been a major recruiting tool for Purdue, for the research part. And uh, I think that uh, the quality of the schools speaks for themselves and that uh, we must pass this referendum. Sometimes it's a little painful, but... Uh, as far as the residents are concerned, most people's taxes have been lower. That $3.5 million each year will be over a seven-year period. Now the school board will take the tax referendum forward to the county council to approve and put on a ballot. If the county council approves it, then it will be on the ballot in May for voters to decide. Tiffany Dismore, News Channel 18.